Oh, pucker up, ladies, because guess who's in the FC Sneaker Factory once again? The light, it's always shining bright when it comes to this channel because it's focused on Mr. Wonderful. But I got you beautiful people out there, the fellas. <laughs> oh, I know the light shining bright on you as well. And those beautiful ladies out there, the cheerleaders. Thank you so much for tuning in because guess what? Sneaker Profiles 126. Oh, and yes, we are starting a brand new segment. Last time we touched on five new balances and I hope you went back and you watched each and every one of those and you supported the channel. But guess what? We're doing it all over again as far as some new sneakers. But let's take it back. Let's take it back to last year, March 3rd, when I actually released a live and I did a live in front of the millions and millions of people out there. And I touched on some Nike Dunk SBs, the black, the slash, the Tiffany blue boxes when it came to that specific live. Oh, and it was a great one because I showed a lot, five great shoes. And I hope you're tuning in because guess what? We're going to do that live all over again. But you know what? We're going to bring you a little bit closer look when it comes to those shoes. We're going to show them in that 4K fashion. The way they deserve to be so i hope hopefully you're relaxed you're tuning in and you're you have that nice cold beverage in front of you and you're relaxing with mr wonderful because you know what i'm relaxing today but i actually have to step out so this is why what i'm wearing what i'm wearing i don't wear jackets inside the house unless i have to go somewhere and after these five videos i have to go somewhere but who remembers this <laughs> This beautiful jacket, who remembers the elephant print Nike SB windbreaker jacket? Oh, because it was a great one. And I can't remember the exact date when I actually purchased this, but I want to say it was around 2008, 2009. Correct me if I'm wrong out there, if you do remember this, but this is an amazing jacket windbreaker, like I said. And of course, I got that black Lulu fundamental tee underneath. And I am wearing some seven jeans right here. Not too dark on the wash on these ones. I feel like it goes perfect with this outfit and it brings the outfit all together. But here we go. Oh, you know I'm looking ravishing as always. But let's take a look at this shoe. Oh, this shoe is a gem and I'm so blessed and so grateful to have this one in the collection. Who remembers this one right here? Like I said, the black slash Tiffany blue boxes right here, that glossy ones. This was a great year when these came out. But let's take a look at the tag right there. As you can see, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro QS, black, black, orange, flash. 10 and a half, because Mr. Wonderful always delivers that 10 and a half. And with these ones, in case you do not have any of these in your collection, they do come with that black wood grain paper as far as the black lining goes. The, the tissue paper is white, the lining is black. So I purchased this back on March 2nd, 2020. Let's take a look at the actual year these actually took place. And it was a great time because you know what? At this time when these came out, Nike SB was on the rise. It was on the rise again. They're starting to get a little bit traction when it came to some of these new releases during this time frame. They weren't hype hype, but they're getting there as far as popularity goes. But you know, Mr. Wonderful has always been rocking with the SBs for quite some time. Back in the late silver boxes, early on to the pink boxes when it is when I actually got into the game. So go back and check out some of those videos that I did on the Silver Box era that I released for, or I should say I did 10, 10 videos on 10 different shoes when it came to those in the beginning of the Sneaker Profiles. But here we go. Sneaker Profiles 126 right here. And I'm glad you're tuning in to a beauty right here in front of you. But let's take a look at this shoe right here. This one, Nike Dunk SB Low Ray Gun in the black. AKA the home colorway pair right here. You see that the original Reagan though, 
the original, in case you're not aware, there is a, ri a, ri a man, I can't get that freaking word out of my mouth. There was an original pair that was released back in 2005. So this is basically a remake of the, right, the original Reagan shoe, putting a little bit of twist to this one. This one right here, released back in December 27, 2019. Okay, so not too far from where we're at now, but far enough where you can say, yeah, this is a, a hidden, a, not a hidden gem, but this is a gem. In case you did not get your hands on this, go back and go get this one. This one's a beautiful shoe, but I'll let you know why I like this shoe and why I picked it up. So the retail price was 100 bucks. Easy money back then, easy money. So this shoe features that psychedelic tie-dye print on the shoe and that Tooney mascot still resides towards the rear pointing to his weapons towards the swooshes. The shoe pays homage to the late Sandy Bodecker. So this is, let's take a closer look. So this shoe, beautiful leather on this shoe. I wouldn't say it's the greatest leather, but it is tumble. You see that black toe box all right here, black. And it even goes into the upper part of the, where the laces go into. And then of course, the black swoosh in that beautiful tumble leather. And then here is where they did the twist to it. The tie dye right here with the white, the orange, and of course you got a little bit of some yellow going on right there. Beautiful. Here is the ray gun mascot, that little alien with his little laser guns pointing out. Beautiful shoe, beautiful shoe right there. The Nike embroidered on the rear. More of that beautiful tumble leather throughout the entire shoe. Here's the medial side. So on the medial side, you can actually see more of that yellow when it comes to this specific one. I'm sure they're all different. You got some orange hits right here in that tie-dye look. That beautiful black tumbled Nike swoosh. More of that nice black tumble leather. Here's the, if you were actually wearing this shoe, this is what you would see. So this is a great little hit right here. I like this. I don't think this was on the original pair, the Nike SB, and it even says Ray Guns right there. I love the insole. You do got that tie-dye orange white insole right there. Beautiful. This Nike, Nike black collar for the ankle. Great to hide all that sock wear. The only thing I have a problem with this one is, but I mean, it, it's like, it's the exact from the original, but right here, the white, the white outsoles, you know how I feel about the white outsole. This one's dead stock. I haven't wore this one because of the white outsole. I will eventually wear this one because, you know, it deserves to be worn. But it's just going to be a hard one because, you know, once once you wear this, once you wear, put some dirt on this white outsole, you're not getting it out. Trust me. Got the nice white laces on this one. I'm not sure if I would switch out the laces on this specific pair. I feel like it, it looks nice with the white laces and the black. It... It just works. It just works when it comes to this specific shoe. Who has this one in their collection? Let me know. Drop a comment down below. I would like to know. I love that. Right there. 58. Got the jersey number on there. Just a great shoe. The black. The homage. The home pair when it comes to the Nike Dunk SB Reagan. Like I said. Or I haven't actually said this. But there was another colorway that came out exact same but basically the you know it's reversed in colors but we'll take a we'll take a look at that one down the road when it comes when it comes around around the list of nike sbs when it comes to these specific boxes don't worry that one's still in the collection so here we go what do you think though who has this one in the collection unfortunately i did not be able i was not able to pick this one up on for retail um, I'm not sure if this would actually release on the sneaker app. I know it definitely released on the skate shops. As you are all aware, I don't I don't rock with skate shops. So therefore, I know for a fact that if I went there, bought a bunch of stuff, I probably would still, still wouldn't get picked out when it comes to those raffles. So unfortunately, I got these on StockX. But you know, when I look back on the price tag, the price tag was not very much. 
I actually got these for a really good deal. I'm not sure what the resale market is currently on these ones, but just a gem. I'm glad to have this one in the collection. But what do you think? Out of out of this pair and then also the visiting pair when, when I do bust that one out, what is your favorite? Drop a comment down below. Is it this one, the home home pair, the black pair, or do you like that all white pair? I'll let you know once we come across the next one, but this is a beautiful shoe and I'm glad to have this one in my possession and in the sneaker factory. But hopefully I will see you on the next one. Sneaker Profiles 126 right here is officially in the books, but let's go ahead and open up those books once again in a couple of days and we'll be taking a look at another sneaker profile, which will be 127. Thank you for tuning in as always. Mr. Wonderful thanks you from the bottom of his cold heart, but I appreciate you for coming in. And guess what? Like I always say, Floyd on YouTube is just too sweet.